So here we've got the van and I'm just going to give a very quick tour. I'm doing a, a quick detour past the engine because I don't know much about engines um, but Neil can answer any questions that we've got. Um, first of all, I'll have a quick look in the cab. And what we can do here and what Neil has built is um, a wooden bed platform that goes right across all three seats and it's got um, stands for the legs um, and a um, foam mattress that goes on the top to make the third bed in the cab. Um, just quickly hopping up in, got um, the, the main console there um, and then up here we've got um, the reversing camera um, which comes on when you go into reverse and we've got bits and pieces for the alarm and things like that um, so I will just show you the view um, so you can see all the way back in from the um, front of the van to the back there's the view there um, and what we do have though is we've got a curtain that just comes across um, so that um, there can be privacy and also blocks out the light if it's just um, the two of you staying in the van so climbing up into the van now I'll give you the view from there it's a little bit dark in there I'll um, open up some bits and pieces um, but just to show you in here quickly um, the first thing I'll show you is the aircon and the um, heater um, controls um, so they were all part of the um, spec when it came um, as a riot van um, that's the curtain that I talked about there um, and then what we've got here is we've got three seats that have um, all got proper fitted seat belts and um, they're flip down seats um, but we have got little blocks um, so that they will stay open um, what else have we got here if I show you um, this next this is just a little seat um, that we actually have hidden in it the loo and so it just oh, there we go um, it's completely unused hence it's still wrapped in plastic um, the thought would be that you might take it out put it in the shower if you're going to use it um, but it's sort of nicely hidden away um, in that seat there there we go um, and what we also have is we have got a table that's not set up at the moment but I think you would have seen it in some of the pictures that attaches I should shut that door to um, the rail that we've got that sits across there um, so that sits there if we come over here if I go out this door so we've got two side doors okay. just wanted to show you something quite cool here this is probably one of my favourite little bits. This is a um, little table for um, when you sit on the step and you just have your gin and tonic. So sit down nicely. And it's um, kind of just the right height to um, have a drink in the sunshine um, when you're um, out and about. Um, so that just flips up there. And then here um, we've got another table um, that flips out like that. Um, so kind of very practical um, for anyone sitting in that seat there um, and then this is the um, light switch for um, the lights in the van so they come in as you can get get back from the pub um, and can't quite see where you're going um, what we've got here we've got the cooker and this is a fantastic cooker actually um, really good burners um, it's got um, an oven there um, and, a, and a separate grill as well and then we've got a lot of storage in here we've got the storage cupboard there and then moving around that's the the under the sink cupboard we've got another um, cupboard there we've got a drawer still got all my bits and pieces in I'm afraid um, none of those come with the van um, but it all works very well you see we've got um, this matches my bathroom um, when, we, when we did a, the property renovation here and then we've got under here we've got um, the sink um, and that's got um, hot and cold running water that's that's run by a pump um, we've got the controls 
for um, the electrics, a lot of the electrics here. So we've got um, the, the boiler, um, which can run either on gas or electric if you're an electric hookup. Um, so that all works well. Um, it's probably as much as I can say. Um, you'd have to speak to Neil about any technical details. We've got more storage up here. Um, and another one in there as well. That's where we're stashing plates and bits and pieces at the moment. Um, and then what we've got here is we've got um, the shower. And what I'll do, just open that up. And you can see that um, we've got vinyl tiles in here because it'd be a bit too heavy if we had um, ceramic ones. Um, but it looks pretty good um, and they seem to have worked amazingly well. Um, we've got a shower unit there. What we've got is the shower head here um, is on a trigger. And so um, none of the water switched on at the moment. But in order to make this work, you need to have this switched on and then the trigger and that actually um, that is a kind of proper design feature not a mistake um, it just means that you don't get through so much water you only actually um, use the water um, when when you really want it so I will shut that back there we go um, we've got here the fridge um, really good little compressor fridge um, doesn't use very much electric but um, is capable of making ice cubes um, up in this top bit there um, which has been thoroughly impressive um, then we've got more storage there we see the uh, very important nature valley crunchy bars um, with um, a bit more storage down at the bottom there and then what we've also got is some very clever storage um, under the mattress. I'll just lift this up, sorry. There we go. Um, with a, a prop on it and um, this is kind of hidden storage, just makes use of a bit of that bed space. Um, but it also means the, the plan is that you can put a laptop there or something like that. It's, it's pretty well hidden, not necessarily in an obvious place where someone might look. Um, so I will shut that down now and just show you the bed. So we've got a full size double bed there um and what we've also got bear with me i'm just going to climb on up in is we've got a lot of storage so um you can see that that's where the shower is we've got storage cupboards um we've got um sockets for um plugging in phones and things like that um and then a fair old bit of um space for for all your clothes and stuff and then at the back there we've got a bit of a headboard um with more storage space um to put anything you might want at night in um so i will now take you around to the back of the van there with me open this up and as you can see here we've got um, plenty of space in here if I stand back a little bit there we go um, we can fit a um, bike in that gap there um, you could fit more bikes in in the back here but that one just stands sort of nicely nicely up there we've got water supply um, with hot and cold water um, and uh what else have we got and we've got the the water heater here um 10 litre water heater and pump um that works very well um heats does a very good job heating water for the shower and and the sink um and then we've got um the lpg um, tank that's got a, a butane cylinder in it at the moment um and that powers the um water heater and the cooker um it's got a, a special dump valve in um, to make sure that it's it's really safe. Um, so we haven't got any concerns about um, gassing yourself while you're you're in the van. Um, I think that is as much as I can think of. I'll sort of raise that up there. 
have a look at that but um any questions um do feel free to um contact us and ask thank you very much bye